Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here, and we're back at Polynesian Resort for a long way to return, return to. Yes, it's been a while. Uh, I think last time was for that terrible lunch. Oh, but no, breakfast though. Last time we were here for breakfast, it was like... Breakfast we love. Yes. Lunch has always been kind of, eh. Yeah, lunch, dinner, not so much. Well, let's see if breakfast holds up. Be sure to Ohana. You're ready to go. Hmm? I got the classic hog juice mimosa. It's small, but it'll do. It's very delicious. We'll give it um four out of five stitches. Polynesian mimosa. Almost the same as every other mimosa or flavor mimosa on property, but you get beautiful wine music to drink it to. It's like a, a, a sugary refreshing, but not too sugary. Four out of five plus. Give myself a little burn in the morning. I got the uh, wasabi Bloody Mary, all peppered, a little olive on top, a little lime. Hopefully this is actually enough to wake me up a little bit. Ooh, nice back of the throat burn. Gets you off the for like a three out of ten, but it cools down really quickly, and it'll definitely perk you up. Four out of five plus. I got the loco moco. I wasn't feeling a giant piece of vegan tonga toast. I'm just going to cut it open and be like, Ooh, look at how pretty. I mean, it's mostly rice. Anyway, just egg looks thick. They put my pico on top. It's all right. I feel like it was more flavorful last time we had it. I will give it um two and a half out of five Lilos. Now, I don't often have a whole lot of good things to say about Pana, I do love their breakfast. And I have been craving this Loco Moco since uh, we got it the last time, which is like probably close to a year and a half ago almost. So I had to get it. So two plant-based things today. I'm not even eating meat for me this morning. Tonga toast just seemed too sugary, and I didn't want the pancakes. And I love pancakes. I chose Loco Moco over pancakes. They give me my pico on the side, it may be because of the allergy, but at least you have the option to get it on the side. Nothing like some nice savory rice in the morning. A little bit of egg. Rice is perfectly perfectly sauce not like swimming in sauce with just egg on top. It's just thick enough. I can go for a little bit thicker. But I love that because I'm trying to avoid eating so much beef that I have this as an option. I wish they had a regular version, but this you're missing absolutely nothing. I would be surprised if more people even noticed that it was vegan. You took it off the menu. Four and a half out of five plus. So, Kona Cafe. It's um, it's a good place for breakfast if you want to stop over at the Poly. I, I think it makes a perfect quick park breakfast. Yeah. Just enough food, you can one drink and head to the park. I mean, I'd rather go to Ohana, but um, I love Ohana. She does love Ohana, but there's a difference between like gut stuffing food and something like light fare. That's Ohana's true. Ohana's a ton of food. That's true. That's Sometimes true. you do more work in this world, even though we do love Ohana. Let me know what do you think about Conan Cafe for breakfast. Let us know in the comments. If there's anywhere else you'd like to see us go, of course, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the bell. And like this video and comment. And if you don't comment, I think Bear's going to, I don't know, take a nap in the middle of Polly. Tempting. But you heard the bell. What?
feels like a little burn to wake me up in the morning. I got the wasaba, the wasabi mimosa. It's all peppery wasabi and. Wow.